Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Mike, and uh, today I'm gonna do a video tutorial on um, Zara 3D. Uh, I believe if I pronounced that right, X A R A 3D. Anyway, um, I did videos before, but I wasn't sure if they were too informative or not. But I'm gonna go into that and show you guys little tricks and stuff that I made uh, in my previous video. On um, I showed. Like a little preview of this wallpaper right here, and um, so this is the you know what I made, and I'm gonna show you how I made it. All right, so this is how you this, you know you start off with this whack animation. I mean not animation, like but this 3D default. Click on this A, this text options right here. You can change everything in there. Just backspace. And backspace. I'm gonna put our own text. I'm gonna put mic. And at the left hand side, you can go browse through all the fonts you have in your in your library of fonts. And uh, I don't have a particular font that I like to use with this program, but I try to choose something really simple, like maybe this one. I don't know. And you can, uh, what kind of bugs me about this program is because when you're, let's say if you just, you know, put something like this, let's say, I put, uh, Mike's designs. So that's cool, and then you can, uh, you can highlight everything and choose to space it like that, or you want everything just to be together. You got some cool options here, so I'm gonna leave it like that. Maybe at 69, 70, make it even 70. And uh, this is the the space in between the other letters, so you can put them all together. That's a good way of merging different letters together and make your own logos and stuff like that. And uh, I'm not sure what this is. No. It's probably best to leave that at zero, right? And uh, press OK. So there's my cool text. And uh, for my people doing a live stream, filming me on live stream, I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is. Uh, no, you can't see it, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but you see it in my YouTube videos. You have the options right here and down here on the left uh, to choose the different 3D options. So I'm going to choose this one. And you can uh, move it around, check out your 3D text. So I might leave mine just like that, mix designs. And uh, I'm going to the shadow options because I don't think I want the shadows for this, for what I'm going to do. And I'm going to go to the texture options, and that's how we're going to get into more detail. I'm going to go to texture. Uh, Faces. Let me see. Touch your faces, and that's gonna pretty much edit the front part of the uh, text. Um, click on load texture, and pretty much you can load up any kind of image, bitmap, JPEG, uh, GIF, IS ICO. Which I don't think anybody's gonna use that. Uh, and I'm gonna use maybe like just kind of like this fiery rainbow effect here. And it integrates it in with your image. So, oops, I don't want to do that. Uh, you can uh, size it up. You size it up with these options right here. So, I'm just going to make that a little big. And probably move it over that x axis. Like that. And that looks pretty good. So, you give it a tint. I don't think the tint feature is going to be too much of a difference. And uh, for the coloring, we're going to put select that coloring option, and uh, we're going to uncheck the texture, and we're going to, uh, we can also give the, right here on the sides of it, the beveled side, we're going to give it a cool texture, so we could, something like this, it's pink, but you know, you can change it, you know, to whatever you want. And uh, so let's say if I want to change the background, give this whole thing a background. Click anywhere outside of the text. Right click, click uh, background texture. 
and uh, what we're gonna do is kind of load up an image. So you can load up anything you want, something like that. Put it up here on the top, or pretty much in the middle, and have like this cool effect right there. You select color color options again, and you can uncheck it so you can see if you like it or not. Um, we're gonna select this drop down menu. We're gonna select uh, text sides. I'm gonna change the sides to maybe like this blue. We'll kind of change the blue. And uh, we're gonna keep it at that and select texture again. And we're gonna uh, uh, we're gonna change that. So we're gonna go back over the texture options. I'm gonna load another texture in there because I don't really like that. And put this one, a sword somewhere. This one right here. Or this one. Oops. Undo that. I'm gonna select my texture text face. There we go. And change the color again. I don't know why it's still pink, but uh, sides. Perfect. So after you get something cool like that, you can go over to File, uh, Export, and save it as a JPEG or a PNG file. A uh, JPEG is probably best. I'm gonna call it Mike's Designs. Uh, it's <laughs> very 3D. And we're gonna go save. I'm gonna save it in my pictures. And uh, make sure it's set to JPEG up here. You got a little preview of what it is and the size of it. Um, I'm gonna put use user defined, and I'm gonna put uh, 1440 by 900 because that is my desktop resolution. And you get the full preview because since the desk the, the background texture I used was a uh, 1920 by 1200 background it's more than enough to fill out the areas and everything and uh, the quality you can leave it at 80 if you want or 100 it doesn't matter and press save and then once you're done go over to your pictures and uh, once your pictures load up um, after you've done that I'm gonna set it as a background and as you can see is my newly created uh, desktop background so I think I might use that for my next video so I like to thank you guys for watching I'm do more videos on this pretty soon and uh, if you have any questions or you know other other than uh, how to get it for free because I post it up on my website there's torrents out there there's you know everything I post it up on my website and forms and stuff how to get it for free so if you really don't know how to do that, I'm not going to make any videos showing you because it's copyright and I could possibly get in trouble. Alright, anyway, so I'd like to see you now. Uh, talk to you guys later and thanks for watching. Peace.